hey guys um so yeah i haven't made many videos again lately um still kind of trying to relax on making content and stuff at the moment due to mental health purposes but things are looking better um you may have seen uh the name of my youtube channel and facebook and instagram and everything has changed um and i've been rebranding a little bit um so yeah the new name is gauge uh so we've gone from chronically suki to gauge <coughs> because gauge no longer fit uh suki no longer fit sorry i'm not with it this morning i haven't long woke up um i'm just trying to sort out my medication um and then i've got to get ready in a minute because today later on today i'm going out to uh pride in the park and i'm gonna be going as gauge so yeah should be fun I'm, i've been looking forward to it because i haven't really been out much lately um i've been kind of stuck in the flat uh obviously because of mental health issues and stuff um i try to stay as far away from people as possible when i'm having mental health issues um and when i'm having like autistic meltdowns and stuff it's best if i'm on my own in my safe space um but yeah uh things are looking up um i'm in therapy now which is really cool kind of nearly well i've rang the mental health team i'm under them they're sorting me out with all different kinds of therapies um I was hoping it would just be something like counselling, but apparently I need more in-depth help or something, apparently. Um, but, but yeah. Um, so, therapy is sorted. I'm on the right track with that. So, I feel it's kind of a bit of a relief, in a way. Um... Yeah, I feel like someone else has got my back, if that makes sense. Like, I, I find it hard to explain stuff at the moment. I'm foggy brain because I've just woke up um, and I've not had my meds yet. So, um, But yeah, it's like I feel like someone else has got my back. There's that extra little bit of support there, um, you know. Um, so it's made me feel a little bit more... You know, because I've got a little bit more calm. Because I'm able to ring someone or text someone now when I'm having a bad day. And I'm having the bad thoughts. I can now ring someone or text someone and get support. Um, which is really cool. Um yeah so the rebrand yeah the reason why i've done that i mean because i talk about it a little bit but i've not talked about it a lot and as it is pride month i suppose i should talk about it you know um so i am i have been the past few years uh trying to unmask um for the past several years trying to do the whole autistic unmasking thing um because the constant masking all the time wasn't doing my mental health any good and plus i didn't feel like i was me when i was masking um because i'd, I'd have uh, it's literally like i had different masks for different situations and different people so my personality would change depending on who i was hanging out with 
and I kind of lost myself um, because I've been masking from a very young age. Um, and for those who don't know, what masking is, is when you pretend or you act like you're okay when you're not and you cover up and hide your your mental health traits or your autistic traits or your disability traits or whatever so anything you find is different about yourself that isn't normal you hide it away from the world and then you put on an act kind of thing um so i do that all the time um i behave differently around different friends um you know i have a really close group of friends which all have some form of mental health issue or neurodiversity and i fit in really well with those and i feel like i can be myself with them and just be completely crazy and completely off the wall with my autistic stims and whatever and they don't care they don't care they're just because they're going crazy with their autistic stims and their neurodiversities as well so you know i kind of fit in there um so i'm able to be more myself around those but i have other friends that aren't neurodiverse um, um when my neurodiversity traits come out in front of them they kind of look at me weirdly for it and they're like yeah that's a bit weird you know so i try and hide that side of me around them and i've got and i do it around my family as well you know and to be honest i got fed up of doing it and it, it's it's and as as a person with neurodiversity or autism or whatever as they grow from childhood and come into teenhood and puberty and yeah and then becoming an adult there is more pressure on an autistic adult than that is on an autistic child i mean because a child if they're flapping their hands and making noise you're just like oh they've been they're being a kid but if you see an adult making silly noises and flapping their hands wildly, like, oh, hang on a minute, who let them out of the nut house? You know, that's usually the judgment you get. Um, so, yeah, I've just stopped masking or I'm trying to stop masking. Um, where did I put my drink? There it is. So, in the process of me trying to unmask it's caused a lot of mental health issues that i have and a lot of trauma issues and stuff like that that i have bottled up through masking over the years um it's kind of it's kind of unbottled them someone it's like it's pulled the cork out of the bottle and now it's all overflowing all over the place and i'm just like oh crap I can't clean this mess up on my own. Um, so yeah, a lot of mental health issues have arisen now because I'm unmasking. Um, and that does happen when you unmask. Um, and I'm not trying to scare people out of unmasking. That's not what I'm trying to do. Um, I'm just saying unmask, definitely. You, you will feel better for it. Definitely unmask but make sure you're prepared for it make sure you have a good support system in place uh beforehand to help you with any mental health issues um so go see your gp explain the situation to them if you have a therapist explain to them and they can help you through that or they can put you in touch with the right people that can help you through that. Or just open up to a friend or family member you trust. Um, and maybe they can help you through it. You know. Um, but definitely if you are someone who masks. Who has been masking. Definitely unmask. Um, but yeah. And in unmasking. 
over the past few years, I figured out something about myself. Well, I already kind of knew it, but I kind of pushed it deep down. And yeah, so it's come through the unmask and it's come forward. Um, so yeah, I am LGBTQ apparently. Um, so I am pansexual. So pansexual, that would be my sexuality, which means I have no interest in in um, gender. Gender doesn't matter to me with a love interest. Gender doesn't matter at all. Um, it's more about, I guess, personality and stuff, um, which I am attracted more to people, certain people with certain personality traits and stuff like that. Um, I have been attracted to girls in the past before as well, um, which is one thing I never understood as a kid. I always thought it was a bit weird and I thought that I was a weirdo um, because my family, I wouldn't say they're full on homophobic or anything like that, but they kind of made homophobic jokes amongst themselves and homophobic comments sometimes um towards gay people or whatever you know it, it just that night normal 80s and 90s um you know yeah it, they're they're old school i guess my family um but I kind of didn't say anything about it, partly because I didn't understand it all properly then. I was a kid, you know, um, a kid with learning difficulties. So normal everyday things like tying my, my shoes were tricky for me, you know. Um, so the whole, are you gay or are you not gay? Yeah, that didn't even, yeah. But now I'm an adult and I'm unmasking and I'm having to face these truths about myself. Yeah, like, so yeah, I'm pansexual. So that's my sexuality. Um, and I am, my gender uh, would be intersex, but I go non-binary, intersex, non-binary, because intersex does come under the non-binary category. And it's a little bit easier telling people, yeah, I'm, I'm non-binary. Because when you say I'm intersex, they don't understand what that means. Um, and you get loads of inappropriate, odd questions and comments. So it's just easier to say I'm non-binary, you know. <laughs> um, so intersex, uh, that means basically I was born both genders. Um, which was a surprise to me. I did it, I've recent years done some uh, medical, looking into my medical records, looking into, you know, trying to sort myself out medically and everything as well, trying to get more of a handle on my medical issues and everything. Um, yeah, found out that basically my chromosomes i have both male and female chromosomes um but i have more of the male chromosomes than i do female um but obviously i have female equipment um female equipment male male chemistry i, I don't know um but yeah so basically i'm both a male and female all rolled into one which is kind of confusing um but but yeah i've chosen to embrace that and in choosing to embrace that in choosing to embrace gauge which is my new non-binary name so suki is my dead name well suki wasn't my real name to start with it was a name my little nephew gave me because he couldn't pronounce my real name properly and it just kind of stuck, you know. Um, I don't like my real name. My real name is Susanna. Blech. 
it's a bit old fashioned and it's spelt really awkwardly because apparently my mum decided she liked the Dutch spelling over the British spelling, which I know, I, yeah, whatever, kind of cool, whatever. But it's tricky for this dyslexic to spell that, you know? Um, <laughs> so, um, yeah, so in choosing to embrace Gage, there's been a lot of relief up here and I've learnt a lot about myself and I just feel like I'm more myself, I'm more in contact, more have more of a connection with myself. I'm probably sounding like a complete loon. Um but yeah, so so yeah. And now gauge. The non-binary pansexual so there you go and that and today i'm going to people's pride in southampton um as gage so that should be fun um so i've got to get myself ready i've got to wash mm, have a wash do all sorts of taping um and binders and <laughs> yeah um but things are looking up things are getting brighter and i've got things in place to look forward to as well over this summer which is really cool um so we've got the pride in the park or people's pride or whatever today um then me and John actually won four tickets, three tickets to uh, Winchester Sausage and Cider Festival this summer. So we're going to go to that. That'll be really fun. We're going to take a couple of friends, I think, with us. Um, as we've got four tickets, you know. Um, and then what have we got? We've got the big Southampton Pride weekend. I think that's in August. Um, I'll definitely be going to that. Um, oh yeah, and one of my bucket list bands. We, John got us tick. John surprised me with tickets for them. Uh, it's also one of his favourite bands. I guess it would be his bucket list. One of his bucket list bands as well, if he had a bucket list. Um. Yeah, that's Soulfly. So we're going to see Soulfly. I believe it's September. They're doing a tour in the UK. And we got tickets. Um, which is awesome. So I cannot wait for that. Um for those who don't know, Soulfly's kind of Soulfly's a Brazilian band. Um, and they do mainly heavy metal with a touch of like, I guess, reggae kind of thing. Um, but they have some really heavy, powerful tracks, but then they have some really mellow, um, instrumental tracks. Um, so if you, if, if you're interested, go check them out on YouTube. They are a pretty good band. Um, but yeah, so we're looking good. Um. Thing, things are going good um but yeah so hopefully today there'll be some pictures and videos uh of pride in the park um john's coming with me as well today um but yeah so it should be a fun day but yeah should be a fun summer so I am going to be getting back on track with the content creation, hopefully. Uh, it's probably going to be a slow kind of getting back into it. But yeah, I do also have um, some more CBD products because my last videos, I think I did... Um, 
the green monkey CB, not green monkey. That was a drink I did a while ago. Um, dusty green CBD. We did those with the heretic bones and jungle powder. Um, but I have some more CBD stuff that I ordered from Leafa Clock. Like I have loads of it that I'm going to be trying in the next couple of weeks um i bought one of their big packs that has like loads of these little like kind of i guess they're sample packs of their different their different products so we've got runt cbd muffin uh i got cbd berry hash um i even got I've got in it some of the wax the uh, CBD wax now I've never ever tried wax before so I've got to get a special thing like a dab pen or something to to use this um so that should be interesting I've got to get one of those um and I've got moon rocks uh and ice cream cake which sounds absolutely delicious um so yeah um they sent me what i think it was like five six oh there's one in there i've got these little packets everywhere like six or seven of these little packets of stuff that's gelato um but yeah they sent me all these so like six packets and I also got with it a free uh jungle torch which is a pre-rolled uh a pre-rolled cone uh made by uh Dusty Green and it was their uh jungle mosses <laughs> Uh, CBD flower in it so yeah that was pretty cool um so yeah in the next couple of weeks I'll probably be making a bit of content on these I'll probably choose one one of them a day or one of them each week to try that might be fun um so yeah if you're interested in that um keep a check on my channel um because I will be doing that and hopefully we can do why don't we do one of those in the sensory tent because I still need to make the sensory tent video um which I keep on about but it's like just mental health getting in the way lately and physical health getting in the way and I've just been losing like I lost all motivation and interest in everything, you know, so we need to get our motivation back and today we seem to have found some. I guess it's because of Pride. Um, It's Pride Month, you know, Um, so yeah. But I'm going to leave you all alone now because I've got to get ready to go out to Pride. Um, so yeah. Um, Thanks for watching, guys, and happy Pride Month. Um, and free, warm, accepting hugs to anyone who needs it. Um, and yeah, I shall see you later. Bye bye.